Hi, welcome back. Yeah, sound check. Sound check. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. All right, now, <clears throat> Josh is here, along with Laura without an Ann, and Carly without an Ann. She left. So I just want to talk brief briefly. We talked about constructive and destructive interference. And when I was making the beats, I was constructing and destructing two waves. I'll explain. All right? All right, now. Let's say I have two waves. Now, I am a terrible artist on the board, so let me simply explain to you that these are identical. Peak, peak, trough, trough. They're identical. They're two identical waves. And when I add those waves, I'm gonna, they're going to construct. In other words, they're going, to, uh, they're going to perfectly add together. So when that happens, when that happens, it's going to look like this. So the, the, th this is obviously not perfectly drawn, but the idea is that this is perfect construction. Nothing's lost. So the, the, the crests become larger, the troughs become deeper, higher crests is what I wanted to say. Uh, we know about wavelength, that's the wavelength stays the same, it just becomes louder. Loudness is the amplitude of the wave. So we're not going to get too complicated with this, but if I want to increase the loudness of a sound, I want to increase the amplitude. <clears throat> loud! Bah, le, bah, loud, okay? So that is constructive interference. Now, if, if it were, if, it, if I could draw this perfectly, if I could draw it perfectly, and this was a wave, and completely I, I don't really want to get too technical with this, but sort of out of phase. In other words, I want to draw this so this is a mere reflection. So it'll go like this. You get the idea? Yeah. Where this is a peak, this is a valley, mm -hmm. this, is a, this is a crest, this is a trough. Okay? When you add those two together, one will destroy the other. So destructive interference, it'll look like this. There'll be no sound. Mm -hmm. Noise canceling headphones. Mm -hmm. it's, the technology is actually based on very simple science, where the headphones will analyze the noise. That noise has a certain frequency. It will manufacture a frequency which is opposite and it'll combine those two frequencies, the manufactured frequencies with the noise frequency, and it will cancel it out, cancel each other out. That's a very oversimplified version, but it's certainly the beginning. Yeah. So now what I did, what I did was I took I took two distinct frequencies, not two same frequencies out of phase, but I took two waves. Okay? Completely different, right? And when, when I add this together, I'll get this. So this is what you hear. This is the beat. Woo! 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 That's the beat. So you have a little construction and a little destruction, and you get this combination of two waves of different frequency out of phase, whatever. And you're adding them. And you get this funky kind of construction and destruction. Now, this is not what a, what a sound wave really looks like. The sound wave is more longitudinal, as I demonstrated in some of the other videos. In other words, this is the the slinky. Mm -hmm. Okay? That's the slinky. Would you say? Yes? That's the slinky? Okay. 
So in the slinky, you had, you had compressions. You had compressions. And the compressions were neatly spaced, correct? So these are called compressions. And between here, rarefaction. OK? Yep. So <clears throat> it's a mechanical longitudinal wave is really the sound wave. That's all I want to say. I'll put on some more. I'll make some more videos tomorrow, maybe during class. OK? Can you hit it off? Thank you. Have a good day.